and greetings gamers and welcome back to let's play the history of the three kingdoms now i know what you're thinking how did you choose the officer so soon you thought you were gonna leave it a week well um due to the sort of upcry quote unquote uh of people who wanted me to play a free for all game i'm all i'm gonna do that while you guys vote for who i should play in the actual scenario that way uh, everybody wins i get to uh, play around with the game I actually play on archipelago for the simple and pure reason that I'm gonna give myself all the edges I can I'll play on tiny islands all the edges I can for this thing so it lasts as you know slow as not not slow but as fast as possible I'll be playing the Sun clan with Tzu Yu in honor of mysterious JG once again choosing him in uh, Romance of Three Kingdoms 10 so he has general which means that naval units may capture defeated naval units. Excellent. Danyang armies may capture defeated land units. If you saw last video, you know what Danyang armies are, and you will, I will try to showcase them in this Let's Play, though it may be difficult. Um, in that regard, a team game, you can imagine if you had both Suyu and Sun Tse, oh my god, you could, you could basically rush and win the game. Well, no joke, you can. Um... So he has Imperialists, 50% faster production of Settler, very nice, charismatic, so I won't have to worry about happiness for a while. Double the experience gained from combat fought on water, considering we have mostly sea-based units, that's nice. Plus one food to sea plots, in a, um, conjunction with the river harbour and the seawall, means uh, water gives us a lot of food. Anyway, forget that, I am not called Alexander, that is a lie, a vicious rumour. We will play on normal and noble. Let's get it on. Good things come to spies who wait. Leaving a spy on a tile will reduce the cost of all espionage missions performed against objects in that tile. So leaving a spy in an enemy city will make your missions in that city significantly cheaper. <gasps> there we go. So we start with hunting and fishing. And we start with pigs next door. Oh my science. Hills, starting on a hill, I'll have a hill there, forest. Yeah, we may be suffering a bit in the hammer front, but we will be okay. Trust me, folks, we will be okay. Work on a workboat. I'm actually going to go. Showing this thing off. Uh, Quite Danyang, yeah, I would need to build that. Figurist 2 could be useful, but I don't have any officers yet. Yeah, these are all the techs. As you can see, a lot of techs. A lot of techs. And it gets quite complicated the further along you go. Anyway, we're gonna go with shipbuilding first. Against my better judgement. Ah, screw it, we're gonna go with... Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Then animal husbandry. God damn you, that. The witch. Then shipbuilding. Okay, that should work. And hopefully we may get some actual um, things off from uh, the game. The game may be nice enough to allow us several um, money foods or technologies while we wait. Now I chose um, Tiny Islands to, as I say, um, help us out as much as possible as being the Sioux. Okay, um, before I finish that thought, uh, yeah, as being the Sioux clan, we are mostly water-based. Most of our upgrades help water tiles, and therefore the more water tiles we have, the better. Now here's the civics. As you can see, it has changed from um, normal civ. Over here in the government we have despotism, which gives us plus one happiness per military unit stationed and plus one anger in the six largest cities. So in a nutshell, if you don't have uh, military units in your cities, you're gonna have a problem. Uh, I would suggest, in all honesty, going for oligarchy, whatever, it's basically representation, as soon as you can. If not regent, but regent is very far off. And uh, emperor will cause you to have the emperor. That is a trait that I'll explain if and ever we meet the Emperor. The Emperor normally spawns on the map somewhere randomly 
and you can actually go and get him. He is defended by the White Wave army, who are basically barbarians. Okay, here we have this, so we start with private school, corvée, we, military units produced with food, not only settlers and workers that are normally produced with food. This does mean though that um, your cities will not grow while they're producing military units. Slightly annoying, but it, it does help. You can draft three units per turn, of course you need the population for that. And the cities with state religion construct buildings 25% faster. Also good. Here we have head hereditary, which gives us minus 25% birth rate. Not exactly good. I prefer to go with recommendation to start off with. Um, even though we don't have the gold and things yet, it's much better than um, purchasing, which basically uh, is like um, hereditary, except you can use gold to finish uh, production. And we haven't got any specialists yet, so it's not that good. Philosophy, though, is the most interesting thing, because you start off with all of them. You start off always with every single philosophy. Now, basically, um, each um, civic, of course, each um, civilization, I should say, has their own favorite uh, philosophy. You have power, which is more the warmongering types, where you get more um, combat points for heroes, but you suffer from no trade, foreign trade routes, and plus two unhealthiness in each city. I do not like this at all. Um, if you basically have a problem with... Uh, health in the further along in the game, I would choose Daoism because you have no unhealthiness from city population and that's the main unhealthy factor in many of the cities. And you know, if you have lumber mills and hunting preserves, it could be nice. Although I usually go for Confucianism because workers build improvements plus 50% faster and cottages, hamlet and villages grow 100% faster. With construction, with recommendation, you can get a lot of gold very fast. Um, also belief, finally, you have either indifference, normal or strong. Uh, nothing much to say about these. No state religion. Considering I don't have a religion yet, I'm gonna do that. Revolution has begun. My scouts are scouting. Another thing to note is that all units um, start with a uh, sort of, not of, uh, personality, no, um, a national distinction. So if you are Marteng, for example, you get a, a Northland soldier or a horseman or something like that. And as you can see, southern, because we are Wu, we have southern soldiers, so we're immune to swamp damage and we gain additional attack and defense from coast and ocean attack. Very, very handy, if I do say so myself. And I do. So we're gonna go with the road. We're gonna have a lot of die here, and it looks like we're on an island. So expansion will be quite rapidly. We're gonna need those ships. The problem, of course, with um, archipelago type maps is that you are very unlikely to find actual um, AI strewn about. So we are playing on a huge map, so there should be quite a few AI, in theory. There we go, post road is done, we have now the fish, so we can build workboats a lot faster. Basically gonna build workboats until I'm working all the usable tiles in the ocean, and then I will um, build an additional workboat that can be used to scout around. That is the plan. As you can see, we're pumping out these workboats very fast, we have a lot of ocean tiles to work, very, I approve a lot. In that regard, we won't need very many farms, it's very much a hammer thing that will be missing in this area. And someone's calling me... forget it. It's a private number, I do not answer the phone in regards to private numbers. I don't. So go away. If you want me to answer the phone, let me see your number, okay. I don't deal with private numbers. I don't. No snaky snaky column. Wondering where to build the next one. Thinking here. I am thinking there. Can I build one there? Barely build one there, I think. 
That way I would have a canal basically from over here to this side, avoiding going ground. That is also useful. And we need one more. Go here. There's a good ship. And you've basically scouted everything, haven't you? Oh, yes! We've got purebred horses, that's excellent! That is awesome, folks. I know you guys have no idea what that means, but trust me, that is awesome! Of course, I have to beware of barbarians, I just realized that. Got more pearls for the pearl god. Work boat. Get. Next up, worker. And you explore. What, you don't know what explore means? Oh, don't tell me that. There we go, like over here. Hey, that's good. Pure force has been founded in a distant land. Basically, the philosophies are your various religions, more or less. Because religions do not exist. very Chinese thing, you know, you don't have a religion, you have a philosophy, you have a way of thinking. And you know, I admire that, that's a much better way of looking at things. Uh, got worker, next I think we will build walls purely so we can start to grow a bit. Although the outer walls will be useful for trade routes later on. And we have that, and now we have the river harbour. Water tiles give plus one food and plus one hammer. Very, very nice. Um, let me see, do I want that? Need mining, really? Thinking, thinking, folks. Let's get shamanism. Fine, do so at the next opportunity. If you want to cut down people. What the hell? Again with the private number calling me. Don't know who these people are, they don't leave me a message, so... You know. If you're not leaving me a message, and you're calling me with a private number, that generally means you're up to no good, doesn't it? I hate it when people do that. I mean, in all honesty, if you... Oh, stone and rice. Stone and rye? Stone and rye? There's gotta be a civilization on that island, there's gotta be a faction. They wouldn't give something like that good just laying there, I do not think. Right, um, next city. Got a hill there, jungle there. Jungle would be a bit yuck, I must say. But I got those purebred horses. Hmm, build one there, yeah, build one here, get hill, that, I get more water tiles like this, yeah go on go here, now we can road to that one, next one will be up here obviously, okay you've appeared, See, you asked him to explore and he wasn't moving, but you know, now, now he's moving, sure. Okay, we got that. Next we want... Do I want swordsmanship? I really want to sort of press forward and get Zeng's Academy. But, let, let, let's just think in terms of resource here. Got purebred horses, I've got that, so I can get those. So let's get the hybrid side, that way I'll have my horsemen without any problems. I can use horsemen to early rush whatever opposition I see. For example, if there's a civilization on this island, yeah, they're going down. But I did say tiny continents, these are more islands than continents. Oh, and there's a thing? Yeah, I need to send someone over here. That's wine, by the way. Ancient terracotta army has been built in a faraway land. A terracotta army, of course. And more horses, good god. 
is let me see let me see let me see wonders 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 great wonders terracotta army this lovely thing think of it as stonehenge basically that's what it is although that would indicate generally that I have a religious AI somewhere Another cool thing is that generally um, the AI will, uh, the heroes I mean, will die off in terms of the year they died at, uh, age wise, I mean like Z Zhang Xiao for example, but if you start with the yellow turbans and choose Zhang Xiao, Zhang Xiao will die almost immediately, like you have two turns with Zhang Xiao, that's kind of annoying, <laughs> Lu Yang will become unhappy, can't do much about that. And Sun Tse has appeared. Has grown up and joined your faction. Yet. That's very nice. I have good old Sun Tse. Ah, you can, like, sail on land. That makes no sense. Right, you guys have got here. Now... I don't have mining yet, so... Over here will be Second City. See, we've grown quite a bit now, and I could basically build. I can build better than that now, can't I? No? Nope, apparently I can't. Because I haven't got any copper yet or anything. There we go, that uh, warrior there has solved my happiness problem for now. Next, we are building a settler, because I want to expand there as soon as possible. I'm actually going to have Sun Tse over here join up with the warrior. And this is the um, uh, Legion screen. Basically, a hero commands a Legion. Um, as your hero levels up, his capacity to command troops will level up as well. Over here, you see his um, affinity with commanding said troops. So he's got a C with melee units, D with mounted units, D with archery units, C with siege weaponry, and C with naval units. Also over here, you have yellow skills and green skills. Green skills are basically every single hero can get these, more or less. Yellow skills are uh, unique skills that only several heroes can have. For example, Sun Tse is heroic. Increases enemies' hero loyalty to our faction by 20 upon capture. In a nutshell, if we capture an enemy hero, he will join us more willingly. He's also a servant soldier, that's thing. And when you join, for example, a unit like so, as you can see, he gains a shit ton of, um, he more or less gains every single, uh, affinity or, uh, ability that your hero has. Because we are in personal command of this one, he also gains the yellow ability. Not so much if we had other ones, they would only gain the green ability. Water support, for example, and vigorous. And of course he gets the elite infantry too, because he has a C with melee units. That's how that works. There you are, so um, he will just um, level up by himself, if uh, you don't prompt him or anything. And I can't get, I can't work that fish, but I might be worth actually getting it to trade later on. Although I think everyone will have fish, this being a finny map. Right, if I tell you to explore now, will you actually do it? Oh, nice! A master boyer has crafted a bow design that works particularly well with our native wood. We will include the new design principles in all our bow making. All archery units are promoted to combat one. That is tasty, folks. That is very tasty. Yo, I'm gonna do the first 100 turns, I figure. That should do it. Because I've gone past 50. That's, that's my reasoning for that. Mm, come over here, start working on the road. Okay, we got that. Next up, mining. Okay, we built the settler. Next, I want... a... river harbour. And Settler's gonna come all the way over... He says over here. 
Well, I suppose, yeah, you would get the horses. You wouldn't have many mines, though. You'd have, what, one... Yeah, you'd have one, one mine. Although I would have a finny there. And that is... Hmm... So I build one there. I won't be able to build one there, I don't think. Yeah, I can. If I build one there... Yeah, as well, I'll build one here. And then build one there. And we'll be, we'll be okay, yeah. Okay, and turn. Hope barbarians don't appear to fuck with me. And we're good. So city number two, we have built shoe. Ah, <laughs> oh, the Great Wall has been built in the faraway place. Obviously, the Great Wall. I don't need to talk about it. You guys know what it is already. Uh, I'm gonna start by building a family altar. Do I want... I don't want mining yet. I actually don't want mining yet. I want... Swordsmanship. Very well. Yes, we've connected it. Huzzah for us. Uh, so I've got a hill, hill, hill. Yeah, build a pasture on that. To work the die, obviously, we need calendar. That hasn't changed. We're starting to lose money now. I just noticed that. That's the thing. Because I have traps in the upper hand corner. Kind of hard to tell. Anyway, purebred horses are excellent in terms of both producing hammers, as you can see there, and gold. Um, but uh, they increase your production speed of horsemen by 50%. So it's very, very advantageous to have those. And Lu Yang has become unhappy again. Oh my god. Don't worry, the river harbor should sort that out. Haven't got the whip yet. <laughs> Speak of the devil. I could get the whip. Uh, slavery basically gives you the military units produced with food, once again. Minus 25% less anger towards war and can sacrifice population in cities. Yet. I might not use it that often, but it might be useful every now and then. Um, now comes... do I want that? I think I want mining. Right, family altar's done. Damn, these guys work fast. That's the things from these guys. And uh, you guys will start building another worker. Obviously we can't build thing there yet because it's a jungle and we can't remove the jungle. Go and we can whip that. Boom. People are still angry, but what do you want? People are always angry. Go River Harbor yet. Now we have that. We're going to build a family altar to get rid of that unhappiness. This is good. We're doing a good job so far. We're doing a good job. Sadly, I don't see any copper, which is very, very, very annoying. Um, cottages? Oh, cottages? I am a sucker for cottages, folks. It has to be said. But I think uh, marketing precedes that in this regard. Right, I can't do anything in that city, basically. Um, you guys can come over here. What am I thinking? Come over here. Build mines. I'm gonna pump out cities like no tomorrow. We're not expansive, that's the only thing against us at this stage. Cottages, cottages. Um, I'm gonna need bloody that. Okay, now we have that. As you can see, light cavalry, because we have purebred horses, only 15 turns. That is insanely fast. Okay, because we're losing money, I need markets in these places. And you guys build a river hub. And do -do 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 what can I have you do? And you can come over here and help out. I really would like to keep these um, forests for wonders to chop them out, but uh, you know, <laughs> needs require and all that. Okay, we got a green colonies. Next up, Military Advisor. 
find you so at the next opportunity you guys come over here and now they're unhealthy because of the forest going sigh let's build a mine up there for the next city which will be up here I'll whip the next building some say gain experience very nice We haven't met anyone yet, though that's kind of unfortuitous. Uh, assault ship. Don't forum. That's kind of useless. The build a stable. We'll start building a sort of semi-military. You guys build a market. Get more money forwards to support. Okay, I said over here, didn't I? That way I have a canal between the two. I'll have that die up there. I'll have two. Yeah, that's excellent. Okay, you guys got that. You will start over here. Because this is one place where a cottage will be built when and if I build cottages. Which I will. I was meant to whip that, wasn't I? God damn it. Come over here. I like to build roads everywhere. That is something I'd like to do. Which is why I'm going to set one of these workers to uh, basically road everywhere next turn, I think. Right, uh, work boat. To get that clam when we have it. Uh, you, yeah, you just build roads everywhere. Now you're starting to grow. Nice. Next city I said goes here, and then I really don't want to build a city there because it's kind of a junk city. But I might have to. It's one, two, three, four. I can build a city here. No, no, I can't. Um, can I? Let me let me look. No, no, I can't. I would have to build a city over here. And that's no, I don't I don't build cities on resources. As a general rule, I don't. So unfortunately that's a negative. So yeah, that's the only city I could build, and I would have one, two, three three cities on this side, and that's okay. I don't need any more. Okay, next up we are going to whip this outer wall. Once again, Oh no, this is different people. I gotta take this, folks. Two ticks.